Josu Rodriguez. I'm a reader of young adult literature. I grew up attending public schools in Houston, Texas, and it is an honor to write this book about young adult literature today. I grew up with many titles, many books, the classics, contemporary classics then in the 1980s, 1990s, and now I get to read and teach this literature, share it with teacher candidates, and also with students of all ages, backgrounds, and colors. I'm currently assistant professor of literacy, multilingual, and multicultural education at California State University in Fresno, California. This book, Teaching Culturally Sustaining and Inclusive Young Adult Literature, Critical Perspectives and Conversations, is a dream come true. I started writing this book several years ago, and it came together. I would call it a hybrid book because it includes literary criticism or study of several books written by young adult authors, young adult literature authors, and also conversations with them about their books, about their growing up, their coming of age, why they became writers and why they persist, why they keep writing, meeting their readers, meeting students who are young adults, and also embedding the cultures, native cultures, migrant cultures of the United States in their stories, in their poems. This book promotes the cultures of the United States, including Latinx voices and also the voices of adolescents we often don't hear or read in school literature textbooks, or that are new voices in our libraries, in our collections, and I'm a believer of connecting the classics with contemporary classics that are young adult literature and children's literature. I interviewed or held conversations with seven authors and they're featured prominently in this book along with their voices and excerpts from their texts. When I began writing this book, I was thinking of students, adolescents, teachers, teachers thinking about a change in their career possibly becoming librarians, and also I was thinking about authors, future authors of young adult literature. It was a good opportunity for me to reflect on my own schooling, my own book choices and selections while growing up as an adolescent, and how I introduce books today and read them with my students. So I went down memory lane, and this is what I retrieved, and it's part of the introduction, chapter one. For most of my childhood, I enjoyed reading. Books came to life in the libraries and classrooms I entered. The voices of teachers and librarians gave life an essential oxygen to books with high praise and through live performances in vivo. Like in a reciprocal understanding and relationship, books maintain stories and languages alive across time for readers to discover and devour with other readers, teachers, librarians, and tellers of stories. Thus, my imagination soared and my world enlarged through books, stories, storytellers, and librarians. Oh.